Well, hello, my old friend, long time no see. Wonder what there will be inside for me today. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Beth. Thanks so much for dropping by. Well, today I am at Goodwill. Now, this is not the one that's closest to my home because the one that's closest to my home closed down drama. But this is the next closest one to my house. And y'all, I have not been shopping, thrifting, sourcing anything since December. And it's Super Bowl Sunday. So I thought, because I don't want to watch the Super Bowl, I would come to Goodwill and Thrift because there was going to be nobody here. Everybody and their brother is in Goodwill today. So I guess not as many people want to watch the Super Bowl as I thought. So let's go in to Goodwill. It is very busy in here, so I don't know how much footage I'm going to get. But if I can show you what they have to offer, we'll take a look around the store and see if we can find anything that we can flip for a profit to use in our own home decor or even used to stock my vintage spaces in my two antique emporiums. So come on y'all, let's go thrifting. Y'all, right, here we go. On another note, two positives already. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Texas and I found a cart right outside. So we're gonna go inside today. I don't even know if they have the 50% off. I think it's, yeah, it looks like it's 50% off of red today. So up the hill we go. We will go in and see what they have to offer in my neighborhood Goodwill. Okay, for starters, let me just say we're having an, a disagreement in Goodwill about something. And I don't know what it is. I'm not sticking around. That's interesting. A little Mickey Mouse purse. There's a lot of music here today, y'all. So more than likely this will all be voiced over, but I did want to show you some of the things that they have at my local Goodwill. Um, but it sounds like the music and the people are a little loud today. So let's just keep shopping. Is The shelves are pretty full. Now, full of what? I don't know, but we are going to take a look at all of them um, just to kind of see some of the things that we can find. I think that's Ray Dunn but it is a candle. My goodness, what is going on over here? A mouse, a mouse. Holy cow. Look at that. That is a bit much. All right, moving on. I like this little bunny. It's a knickknack. That's what it says right there on the tag. Knickknack. Let's see what it is. Can I open it? I don't know, y'all. I really think I like this. I don't know if I like it $2.99 worth, but, and it's not on sale today because red ticket is going to be 50% off, but I'm going to put it in the buggy just in case. This is a little strawberry. Now, what does that say there? Butters, maybe? It's a cute little vase. It's $3.99, same as the other. Let's check this one out. We'll ride this one around in the cart until we make a decision. I haven't too. noticed like all of our stuff is on the top of the clothes rack. So I have to stand on my tippy toes, but look at this. Now this is Christmas, Jingles and Joy. It is $3.99, but I think it's 50% off. It is called Dog Invest. I just think it's super cute. I don't know. In the buggy it goes, just in this case. This is a Mikasa pattern. Yeah, this is a Mikasa pattern. Goodwill wants $5.99 for this little dish. I think it's a dip dish, but I'm not paying $5.99 for that. Let's see what else that we can come up with, shall we? Um, this one is handmade. Somebody's already taken the tag off to look at it and it's chipped right there, so yeah. $5.99. That's beautiful colors though. I don't know what I would do with it, but it's it's really pretty. I like the colors of that. That's different. It is $5.99. I'm trying to stick to a budget these days and ask myself, do I really need it? So let's find out if there's anything that I actually need. Probably not, huh? Let's just see, this is a 50th anniversary. It's 
the three little pigs. Wonder why it would have the three little pigs for a 50th anniversary. I like this. That's really pretty. It looks like it already had an orange tag for Goodwill. Do y'all see that? So I don't know that they're fooling, but it's $7.99. It's really heavy and it's lead guy is cute. He's a platypus. Who knew you needed a platypus? He is Perry, the platypus, duck-billed platypus. He's cute with all of his glitter. It's like home goods stuff. Oh, look at that. That's a Santa plate. I love a Santa plate. It's $3.99. We call this Mexican pewter. But that's super cute. Put cookies on you. That's cute. Now this is all of the seasonal. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Goodwill might be getting a little scary. I do like this little Radio City Music Spectacular. It is made in China, but isn't that cute? That's kind of cute, y'all. I don't know. I'm very indecisive today. I don't know what that's about. It's probably because I don't need a lot of stuff, but I needed to at least get out here and see what they have. And I'm seeing that it's a lot of home goods, but not a lot of vintage. It is busy in here and everybody's grumpy today. Why is everybody grumpy? It's Goodwill for the love of all that's holy. You should be happy when you go into Goodwill. I mean, I'm usually happy when I go in Goodwill. Look at this little sleigh. Well, it's not little and I'm guessing it had a lid. It must've been a cookie jar. It says holiday wares. It's like a blown glass. It's just different, that's why I like it. It is glass though. That's pretty cool. What is this? It's $7.99. It's a Squishmallow. It is a cat unicorn Squishmallow. Oh my gosh. This is, I guess it's just a little jar made 1999 Mary Jane Mitchell. It's from Ross originally. But that's cute, little cat jar. I like this little bowl. What am I doing about bowls and dishes today? That's what I'm drawn to. But I love the pottery aspect of that. I like the blue in there. I don't know, y'all. There I am with the I don't knows again. I'm very indecisive. This might not be a bad idea to have in the booth. Oh, it's got a little scuffing on it, but that would be something that you would want to put in the booth. It's got mom and dad. Look at that little king and queen. That's pretty cute though. Father's Day and Mother's Day is coming up. So that might be worth it because both of these would be $2.99. On the other side, I saw these glasses right here. It's a set of four glasses. Very, I mean, I don't even know that they are old, but I love the design. They're $7.99. I just need to check them out a little bit because those are cute, right? For $7.99 for the set of four. Um, these about $2 a glass, basically. And um, I don't see any comps. So let me know what you think in the comments if I should pick those up or should have picked those up. Right now, I'm not picking them up. Let me know if you think I made a mistake. Of course, I'm gonna stop by and look at the lamps, which they don't have a whole bunch of, but I'm always looking for a lamp for my booth because sometimes uh, in the one in Glen Flora, it can be dark over there and I uh, need a lamp. So I was looking to see if any of these lamps might work for that particular booth. Is this all the children's books that they have? My goodness, they must be sending all those to the bins. But here's the deal. What is this one? Kiss, kiss. That's cute for Valentine's Day, which is coming up. So that would be cute in like a display piece. Um, but I guess I need to go to the bins and get look for some more books. Although if the truth be told, I probably don't need any more of the Goldenrod books because I have so many. Down to see if I see any Afghans or anything like that, like some vintage linens. But I'm not seeing anything in here today, y'all. It's a little slim pickings for here. I'm even gonna check out the games and stuff. Happy or not, the game of emotions. That's our life. So 
let's just keep looking to see. This is a pottery piece over here. It's a cute little pottery piece made in Cali. I don't even know what that is, what shape that is, but it's just California pottery. It's $4.99 for that one. So let's just keep looking to see what we can find. We'll just look all over the place. Let's take a look at the wood aisle and see if there is anything that we may be able to make over. Baby sleeping. Oh gosh, never wake up that sleeping baby. Forget about it. Just see if there's anything that we might be able to give a little makeover real quick. I actually have a bunch of stuff at the house that I need to be making over, but alas, I'm not. I am hanging out at Goodwill. Here's another little um, base here but it has some tacky flowers in it. Everybody's gotta like tacky flowers. Vintage suitcase, but it is dirty. Very dirty. It even has the tray though. Let's see, they're asking $10 for that. That's probably retail, but it does have the tray. Found over here. It's like a little shelf off to the side that has some housewares and things in there so I guess they didn't want to put this kind of stuff on the shelf or maybe there wasn't enough room on the shelf for these things so I'm just going to take a look I don't, nothing is jumping out at me so far um, I definitely need to be mindful about what I'm picking up just because I already have a good bit of inventory that I'm trying to move you can tell the reseller's been in here. The price tag is destroyed. <laughs> and a sifter. All kinds of fun things over here. Uh, what I have in my cart is this little doggy tray. It, it is going to be 50% off. So it's going to be $2. And then I have this dad rules and mom rules mugs. It's going to be $2.99 for the set because they are 50% off. The other thing that I had in the cart was this base for $3.99. I just don't know how that would do. And this bunny for $2.99. Um, and this is not vintage or anything. I just thought it was pretty cute. Just didn't know how that would do either. So these two pieces I'm on the fence about. With these glasses, y'all, I mean, I'd have to keep them until Christmas. Um, they are super cute, very mid-century modern to me, although I don't think that they are really that old because there's no gold gilding at the top, which is one of the things that I look for. And they're $8 for the set. So about $2 a glass. Um, oh, and that may answer my question. I feel some sharp spots on one of these. So I don't know. I sure could use some help. I think these might be Libby. These glasses might be Libby. I'm not sure. The frosted carriage ride ones. But glassware is just so hard to resell. Um, because how many people are actually using that? I mean, I think that they, this, I need to check this again. Um, but I, I just don't know. I have to kind of look at them again. I don't, again, I don't think that they are, um, I don't think that they are old. Did I? I'm trying to see if I felt a piece in there, a scratch or something. I just don't know. If I'm not 100% sure, y'all, I think I'm just going to walk away from it. Well, I took my own advice and I put those back because I wasn't 100% um, sold on those. Now I'm just thinking about these. I mean, they're basically like, it's going to be 5 or $6. Um, I'm thinking I could, that's a little mark on there. But I'm thinking just, you know, for Mother's Day and for Father's Day, these wouldn't be bad. To have in the booth and of course doggy stuff always sells at christmas time so then there's that i think i'll just go with these two things and um call it a day here at this goodwill there wasn't much to be had here today okay y'all we're gonna have a little bit of a rant 
right here at the end. So they have changed it again. The sign is the same. It just reads differently now. And it used to be Wednesday, no, it used to be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday was 50% off of the color of the week. They have now changed it. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday is 25%. And this is a Sunday. Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is 50% or something weird like that. So at the end of the day, once she rang them up, once she rang them up, I realized that they were 25% off instead of 50% off. And she goes, oh, everything, that, we'll have a new color of the week and 50% off um, on Wednesday. And I don't know about y'all, but at our Goodwills, a lot of times they will change color tags on items when it comes up to be that color's time for the 50% off. So leave me a comment below if they do that at your Goodwill as well, because they definitely do that here. Um, I've actually watched an employee be re-tagging in the store. Um, the color of the week at that time was yellow, and they were re-tagging the yellow tags to red tags. So it's just a practice that some of these Goodwills in our area do. I'm not sure that it's all Goodwills, and I'm not even sure that maybe Goodwill Corporation knows that's happening, but maybe they do. So at the end of the day, I spent $8. I got, you know, a couple of items that I will have to put away. Um, well, one, I, you know, the cups I can use in May and June, but the other item will have to be put away for Christmas. And so it is what it is, right? So thanks so much for going with me. I'm sorry we couldn't find more things um, in the Goodwill that we would have been able to use in my, even my own home. Um, I just didn't find anything. A lot of that is at Prefab, Ross, and um, all of those home goods and all of those things. And that's just not what I decorate with at my house because I decorate with the vintage things instead. So again, thanks for going along with me. If you enjoy shopping at Goodwill and would like to see more of it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already part of my YouTube family and click that notification bell to all so you never miss a video upload or a live event. I'd love for you to join us with those things. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.